Japan played host to Hong Kong on the tournament's final weekend. The Japanese and Hong Kong women kicked off the afternoon with a curtain raiser, and by game time, more than 10,000 supporters had flocked to Prince Chichibu Stadium in Tokyo, expecting to see their side qualify for the 2011 World Cup. In the run-up to the match, Hong Kong had high hopes of pulling off a major upset, or at least securing a bonus point that would see them through to second in the competition. Those hopes were quickly dashed. After just two minutes, Japan was on attack. A sweet kick from centre Ryan Nicholas found winger Alessi Tupaale alone along the touchline and Japan was on the board. Next it was Koji Tiara's turn, running onto a perfect pass from fullback Goshi Hachikawa. Tiara crossed over untouched and the lead was 14. It didn't get any easier for the visitors as Tupa Ali was on the receiving end of another try scoring effort, his second of the afternoon. And when Endo went over for his first try of the match minutes later, any hope of Hong Kong keeping up with the hosts was gone. Japan ran in seven tries before the break, and for the large contingent of fans and media, it was just a matter of time before their boys were officially qualified for the 2011 World Cup. There was no letdown, however, as Fumiyaki Tanaka picked up where his teammates left off, going over early in the second half. And that's a great reward for the little man, because he has been the dominant player on the field today for Japan. Fumiyaki Tanaka. For Japan, even when it went wrong, it went right. Once again, Tupa Ali was involved, cleaning up poor passing, breaking tackles and creating opportunities. The recipient for his hard work was reserve winger Karu Matsushita. Heaps of men outside, and they'll get it to a try in the corner to Matsushita. Good try there from Japan. With the score 73-0, Hong Kong caught a break. Well, here's a chance for Hong Kong. Mark Wright charges this one down. tries in all on a day when Japan claimed the Asian Five Nations title and a spot next year in New Zealand. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity for every player to play a World Cup, so, you know, we'll just go down there and hopefully show the world Japanese style. Hong Kong's heartbreak continued when Kazakhstan took maximum points in Korea to sew up the Ripper spot and a date with Uruguay. So for the third year running, Japan lifts that magnificent trophy and coach John Kerwin can breathe the sigh of relief. And for the final word on the 2010 HSBC Asian Five Nations, let's go to former Scotland coach Frank Haddon. Having been to the, the uh, Premier League games, um, you know, each one was, was interesting uh, on its own count. At the end of the day, the professionals of, from Japan were too strong for the other teams who struggled to cope with the intensity of the five-week tournament. For the amateurs who had to go back to work during the week, they just found it tougher and tougher as the weeks went on, whereas the professionals got stronger.